The James Webb Space Telescope was designed and built to travel across time and see the early seconds of the universe's formation. Today, we have something that scientists have awaited for a long time. Back in those days, we were looking at the first Hubble images of the distant cosmos, and the details they showed were astounding, compared to anything we had previously seen in ground-based images. Ten years ago, with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope, we found a galaxy that we later dubbed Max 0647-JD. We had never before done any work on high redshift galaxies, yet here we were, looking at what might be the most distant galaxy ever discovered, located at redshift 11, or 97% of the way back to the Big Bang. With Hubble, it was just this pale, red dot that we could see. It was incredibly small, just a tiny galaxy in the first 400 million years of the cosmos. Now, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we look and we're able to resolve two objects. Astronomers are currently arguing about whether there are two galaxies or two groupings of stars inside a galaxy. These are the questions that Webb is designed to help us answer. The massive gravity of the galaxy cluster, Max 0647, acts as a cosmic lens to magnify and bend light from a faraway JD system. It also caused it to triply lens the JD system, making the galaxy appear in three separate locations. You can also observe how drastically different the colors are between the two things. Both are different colors, but one is more blue and the other is redder. There are significant differences between the blue and red gases. The blue one is much younger and has very little dust, whereas the red one is older and contains more dust. And there's a good chance that their stars have different masses too. Observing this combination of two structures in such a small system is fascinating. This means we may be able to see the merging of galaxies in the early cosmos as a result of this, where the distance between the merging objects will be the greatest of any merger we have seen. In the backdrop of this picture, as well as every new web image we get, you'll see a lot of tiny dots. Those are galaxies, each and every one. There is so much data we are now able to view that just wasn't there previously. And the field is not very deep here. However, until recently, it was difficult to get a good look at early universe galaxies. Before Webb, we just had tens. To learn how galaxies like ours grew from earlier types, you have to look at these earlier types. In addition, the history of the universe's evolution. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.